What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a fully customizable XML sitemap for your WordPress website. So in today's yesterday's video that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here, we did learn how to create for free a Google News optimized XML RSS feed so you can submit your site to Google News platform, okay? But into this one, we're gonna learn how to create a normal default WordPress website XML sitemap in order to submit it to Google Search Console in order to be indexed faster, in order to make your site appear on Google Search Engines faster, okay? So how to do this for free? Remember, if you are using Yoast SEO WordPress plugin or all-in-one SEO WordPress plugin. You do not need to follow this, your plugin already have this tutorial. Go to visualmoto.com and search on our blog for tutorials on those plugins in order to learn how to enable this. But if you do not want to use those plugins, if you do not want to pay anything, follow this, okay? But before I can start, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us, okay? Because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, sales, plugins and many more topics. And so we can start, please go to our WordPress dashboard right here, okay? Yourdomain.com, yourdomain.extension slash WP admin, okay? Or WP login. And into the left side of menus, we're gonna scroll this down a little bit until we find this option. Normally it's next to appearance, call it plugins. And right here, we're gonna click on add new. Into the upper right corner, the search plugins field, we're gonna type this, XML sitemaps and Google news. I'm gonna be installing this one, okay? That is the same plugin that we did install it into the previous video that works pretty well, however, the settings change a little bit. As for there, you click on install, we're gonna click on activate button, this is gonna redirect you to the plugins list of your WordPress website, okay? So, let's find out the plugin, scroll it down a little bit, right here, this is the plugin, we can deactivate or go to settings, we're gonna move to settings, okay? And right here, we have these two options, just two new options under our settings reading section of our WordPress website. Make sure you mark this one, okay, XML sitemap, and click on save chance, okay? Just this. After this, you're gonna be able to click into this button right here, settings, click on it, and this gonna move you to this section of your WordPress website, still under settings, XML sitemap. And right here, we're gonna be able to see our XML sitemap. Review the right side of my screen into the view. You can click right here. And here is my XML sitemap. I can grab this URL and submit to Google in order to validate this sitemap and make our website appear faster into the Google search. We have the sitemap root, the post type, the posts, the page, and the outer. But we can edit this sitemap in the case that we want, and this is the best part of this plugin, okay? We can include posts, we can split by year, by month, by week, okay? We can give priority, we can automate, uh, automatic the priority calculator, okay? We can update the last changed date in each new comment, and we can add images to the sitemap, for example, for some RSS feed to load our posts into another place. We can use none, attached image, or the featured image, okay? Normally the featured image works pretty well. The same for pages, we can include pages on our sitemap, okay? So if I go right here, here is my page sitemap, I click on it and I see a list of all of the pages present of my, on my website, okay? We can also automatic priority calculation, update the last change, include the featured image or the attached image. For pages, I recommend that you include the attached image, okay? Not the featured image. You can enable the sitemap for templates that you create on your site. 
for custom post types, for example, if you have using WooCommerce WordPress plugin, you have a post type called products. And these products can be included into the sitemap. For example, right here, I have night editing products. I do not have it included on my sitemap, but products are important to include. So I'm going to click on it, save change, change save it. Now, and here is our updated XML website sitemap, including the WooCommerce products that we did enable. Okay. So you can do the same with all of the post types that you would like to use. Okay. And there is extra options right here and features that you can enable. For example, the taxonomies. Okay. You can include taxonomies like your blog posts, categories and tags. Okay. And you can exclude some tags that you do not want to use. It may be required according to if you are a blogger or not. Go to visualmodel.com, go to our blog and search for our SEO articles in order to understand if it's good for you or not. But it's good to know that this option is present into this plugin as well. Authors, this is important, okay? Imagine that you have multiple authors. You can include the authors into your website sitemap and you can apply some limits for the sitemap for authors. And into the advanced features, you can, for example, change the permalink, the link, the address of your, the web address of your sitemap. In the case that you are a pro user of this plugin, no need to worry if you do not want to pay, there's no problem. The URL is very Google friendly, it's good, no need to worry. You can extend the web page, you can extend the XML sitemaps, and right here into the right corner of my screen, into the sidebar. Sidebar, we have some very useful links, okay? For example, you can ping search engines in order to let them know that you have new contents added to your sitemap. You can check useful links, for example, in the case that you want to go to Google Search Console in order to submit this sitemap, you can click right here. Same for Bing Webmaster Tools, Baidu, Yandex, and you can validate your sitemap. This is very good, okay? You can grab this URL and post right here in order to ask for conflicts, to check if there is some problem that you can fix, okay? All nice and clear. So, and it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out our Borderless WordPress free plugin. And in order to install it, just go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, and search for our Borderless WordPress plugin. Click on install and activate and as soon as you do this, you're gonna gain widgets, elements, templates and tools that you can use on your WordPress page builder or even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click and start with a ready page from the beginning, all for free. In addition, in the case that you are in need of a WordPress theme that you can fully customize and give it the looks that you want for your online brand, go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes search for our Enzo WordPress theme, click on install and activate. As soon as you do this, you also gonna gain templates that is pre-built websites that you can import with a single click, but you're gonna be able to customize the position of your menu, of your logo, the search appearance, the search results, and lots of design options that not even premium themes that most to pay for use do not offer. So go this and go for it. However, and as a final nut, in the case that you want to go premium, want to count on our full support, want your site up and running ASAP, go to visualmodel.com, purchase our Visual Model Pass and enjoy the almost unlimited pre-built websites, pages, sections, premium icons, premium images and full support that you can have with a single click, okay? And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!